that's the stuff I wanted to update you guys on. The fact that I'm doing well. I have a girlfriend now. <laughs> and yeah, and I'm going back to Bali um, pretty soon. Well, tomorrow really. where do I even start so it's been raining for the most part in Phuket which meant I couldn't really do anything but train which was really important for me because I really wanted to focus on the training um, so yesterday was my last day training and yeah I'm hoping to pick up the Muay Thai when I go back to Bali um, yeah so that's the long and short of it really it's just been raining like crazy for the past couple of weeks it's been really difficult to just leave the house and go anywhere really um, so that's part of the reason I haven't been vlogging uh, um, yeah a lot has happened to be honest uh, last week I was in Bangkok for some other reason that I'll tell you guys about at some point um, what else yeah that, that's about it really like uh, I only have one day here in Bangkok I'm just gonna maybe show you guys around I have eye bags. I think it's because I only got four hours of sleep last night. Thank you. Okay. My food just came. So I'm just gonna fix the eye bags problem. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, the last time I was here, I walked past this place and I thought I should check it out. I had a feeling it would be expensive, um, but I wasn't expecting it to be this pricey. Um, yeah, but I thought I should just treat myself today since it's my last day in Bangkok. I booked myself into a hotel and I'm gonna eat at a fancy restaurant. <laughs> um, I'm done eating. I was slightly disappointed with the food. <laughs> yeah, so I was slightly disappointed with the food, especially because the place is so expensive. You know, the pasta was really like. It was so basic. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, but it definitely wasn't what I was expecting. So I'm now going to make my way to a park, which is about 3.5 kilometers away from here. So I'm just going to walk, try and uh, see if I can discover new places. Um, yeah, I don't really have a plan for today, to be honest. Uh, I mean, it would have been better if I was with someone who knew the place. Actually, I take that back. 
I don't think it would have been better if I was with someone who knows the place. I think things are good as they are. I'm just gonna figure things out by myself. Um, yeah, and I'll check you guys when I get to the park. to record a sit down video and do a check in with you guys but those kids completely hijacked me <laughs> not that I'm complaining I had a lot of fun even though we couldn't really communicate um, but we understood each other t to some extent you know really cool kids um, very curious so they came to me because they saw me flying my drone and they just wanted to know everything about the drone even though i couldn't really explain it but i think they got what they wanted really um anyways so i just wanted to do a quick check-in with you guys um so i think it's been just over a month since my resignation and i just wanted to do a check-in and let you guys know what it's been like in the past month also um yeah so i resigned well my last day at work was on the 9th of september so it's been i mean a month and a half maybe i don't know and it's been great for the most part um it's been really really great i mean like the the last month i've just been taking things really easy because i didn't want to rush into creating or like creating content or doing other things like immediately I just really wanted to take time to just you know focus on how I'm really feeling about a lot of things and just my thoughts in general because because that's something that I never really got the time to do while working um, I think yeah, it, it was really important for me to just sit back for a little bit get to reflect on a lot of things and just plan ahead as well because uh, I, I didn't do a lot of planning before resigning you know I mean I did do some planning but short-term planning so I had to plan for long term and you know think about what I'm going to do when I do eventually go back to South Africa um, yeah right now I'm in a I'm in a great space I think doing Muay Thai really helped me a lot especially with my mental well-being um, I think it was like a way for me to slowly transition out of having a schedule every day having to do something at a certain time waking up at a certain th time um, working a certain number of hours and so forth so I think it was my way of transitioning into you know or at least transitioning out of that kind of setup because with the Muay Thai I had a predefined schedule so I would 
train in the morning at 8 a.m. from 8 until 10 and then I would train again from 4 until 6. As much as I still had a pretty much flexible schedule but I didn't go from having work to not having anything to do at all you know I think that was really important for me and I'm gonna continue doing Muay Thai going forward now that I'm going to back to Bali that's one of the things I need to sort out I've already found the gym in Bali I just need to make sure that I go there or uh, sign up as soon as I get there just to really continue with the journey you know because I, I really enjoy Muay Thai and it's, it's really been great for my mental health as well um, yeah I guess what I really wanted to say is a lot has happened in the past month and a half or so I mean like a lot has happened come to think of it um, I think the biggest change really outside of or besides me leaving my job was that I ended up meeting someone here in Thailand which is really crazy because that was never part of my plan I mean like it wasn't something I planned on and it wasn't something I never planned on at the same time you know I don't know if that makes sense it was it wasn't planned and it also wasn't unplanned type of type of type of setup if I can say yeah so I mean I, I met this girl <laughs> I always say I met this girl but <laughs> anyway so I met this girl back in Phuket and within a space of one week I mean like we connected to to a point where I mean it didn't really make sense for me to go my separate way and let her go her separate way even though well she did end up going back home and all of that but after spending that time with her and I mean naturally just developing feelings for her and her feeling the same way as well I, I just thought like why not give it a shot you know because as much as it wasn't something that I planned for coming especially like traveling here um, but it's something that happened and I'm really really grateful that I got to meet her she's she's such a, an incredible person and I think it's probably well I know for a fact that it's exactly what I need right now in my life um, you know I, I think it's exactly what I need and I mean like I could go on and on about this but I think I'm just gonna leave it there yeah that, that's that's I mean that's that's the stuff I wanted to update you guys on the fact that I'm doing well I have a girlfriend now <laughs> and yeah and I'm going back to Bali um, pretty soon well tomorrow really um, and I guess what to expect going forward so um, one of the reasons I was struggling with uploading for the past couple of weeks was that I was really trying to come up with I was really trying to come up with a schedule going forward because not having a predefined schedule can throw me off a little bit sometimes so I've just decided to come up with a schedule where I'll be uploading twice a week at least twice a week um, so it will be on Mondays so I'll upload a vlog on Monday and then another vlog on Thursday um, so the Monday vlog will be the weekend vlog whatever I do during the weekend I'll upload that on Monday and then whatever I get up to during the week I'll upload that on a Thursday um, also just to give myself time to work on other things and one of the things I've been working on in the past two weeks is my blog because I felt I mean I, I've always felt this way I can't really express myself to an extent on on YouTube on video um, I mean like there's a lot of things that get left out and that completely changes context sometimes so I think with this blog I'll be able to share a whole lot more about how I feel and other things that are going on in my life and get to 
I don't know, share with you guys my thoughts, my ideas, my stories, <laughs> like how I met this girl, for instance. I think that would make a very interesting blog post. Stay tuned for that blog post. Um, yeah, so the, the blog should be ready um, in the next week. So this video is coming out tomorrow, which is on a Monday. And the, the vlog, no, the blog, <laughs> the blog, my first post i'll make it for some time next week um i'll confirm on the next vlog that i that i'll be uploading on thursday um yeah but it's pretty much done i just need to like uh, write my first post or like, come up with the concept for my ne next post and just make sure that everything is looking good for you guys to read um yeah that's that's all i really wanted to say and yeah everything is all good guys um i mean like i can't really complain about anything if i do think of anything that i missed it will be on the blog whenever it comes out okay guys thank you so much for making it this far and if you haven't liked the video, please hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.